Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Eric Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about a three-day progression, another athlete, kind of show you where we started, how we kind of went through his progression, how we treated three days, and the kind of improvement we made. So one of the first things we do when any athlete comes into our training system, and whether it's gonna be with a school or whatnot, we're gonna go through and ask them what they do. So here we were showing immediately, having him set up his stand throw, go through some different positions and kind of see what he's doing and then we would take it through a normal progression and then we started to break things down and, and point out some of the things that we were seeing right away and in this case the athlete was shifting too far forward what we call are some systemic issues which means he's doing some good things right but that you're seeing it throughout the whole throw not just in a specific pillar that was closer So then as we figure those things out in day one, and now we're going to be trying to apply those. We know what he needs to work on. We know why the athlete, he's too far forward in his throw, some of his knee positions, shoulder position, arm positions, these sorts of things. So we started to implement some different things and techniques that we use to have the athlete feel different adjustments in his pillars, having the athlete understand how to like do a touch throw where he learns how to move around the axis. We're changing that arm path in the entry in to the throw and we're trying to teach him how to lengthen up and so it becomes a mechanical day that was good though better By the third day, what's really important is we have a really clear concept of the changes we're trying to make and what some of those specific things are. We're gonna touch base again. There's gonna be some timing disconnect. We try to shift gears on that third day and really focus on rhythm. We're gonna think about setting up the chain reaction and applying to the throw so that we're not overly thinking. We've done that, we've broken things down, we started to apply the fixes. Now we wanna think about the flow of the throw and we saw some really nice changes. So when you look, he started to lengthen out. So this athlete is quick, snappy. He's hit some really good training throws, but he's had some like big throws and then he drops down 10, 15 feet. How do we get those big throws all the time? So we look at from day one to day three. So this is basically cumulative about five and a half hours of training. And now we're seeing just some better overall motion blocks cleaning up a little bit better. He's not so far forward. And you notice he's losing the discus a little to the right. And we're always a little happy with that because he's starting to feel stretch and it's kind of exposing some of the errors he had. And those are some some things that just take time. I'm Devin. Dexter Martin. Oh, okay. Both from San Diego, California. I think it was really beneficial and actually figure out and learn to see what I'm doing specifically wrong. I got like piece by piece specifically every cue, every position that I needed to hit and it's just really helpful. I mean, it was great. I mean, I got a wealth of information over this three days. When we did the online session, it's kind of figuring out specifically where the pillars applied to me and which ones I needed to hit specifically, which pillar goes at which position exactly and which cues I needed to hit those pillars like well in my throw. Breaking bad habits now right. to actually hit those pillars as, as he needs to hit them. You're so used to the habits that you develop as a thrower it's not really about like breaking it's kind of finding the right habits that you need to have when you're throwing so when I kind of went from the mechanical shift to the rhythm shift it was really weird at first and then I kind of feel it out as a thrower myself because every throw throws different it's kind of cool to find my own rhythm and just kind of get my throw out there so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. hey yeah. anybody out there if you're trying to drill down and, and get your throw on point you better get with mr. mr. Eritay <laughs> yeah mr. coach Eric Johnson here because because he, he'll get you right <laughs> it's awesome hey, from good. what we did this weekend we're gonna see a difference yeah, yeah it's already. just inevitable yeah. it's gonna happen Hey, if you are having some of the problems that you see in this video and you're not quite sure how to fix them and you see that we applied a number of different things and you'd like information on how to do that and how to use the throwing chain reaction system to help improve your throws fast, be sure to click the link in the bio or in the description below and we will see you on the next video.